first stop is here at the Caldwell Mansion on Route 4 on the way into Chatham. This house was owned by Benjamin Franklin Caldwell, who was a member of Congress and the Illinois legislature in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He was also a farmer, banker, and civic leader, whose donations helped build schools in Chatham and in Thayer, Illinois. He is probably best known for his lavish residence here in Chatham, built in 1876. Originally from Greene County, Illinois, when he was five years old, his family moved from Greene County to Sangamon County here in Chatham. Ben was only 15 when his father passed away and he became head of the household. He cared for his family and the family farm, which at the time was only 200 acres. He dropped out of school and went to work. His hard work paid off. Eventually, the farm grew to over a 1,000 acres, and he was able to raise enough money to build this home in 1876 and expand the acreage of farmland for his family. This beautiful stately home is over 6,000 square feet. It was constructed in 1876 by famous contractor E.F. Gilman from Springfield. The mansion is framed by farmland like a diamond. The home itself is a stately Italianade, faceted with moldings and brackets and crowned with a cupola. When the home was built, it had 12 rooms, sat on 10 and a half acres, and was home to three generations of Codwells. When the house was built, it cost $20,000. In today's money, that would equal $485,828.04. At the time, it was at the top of the line and the top of its class. It had lights, steam heat, central pressured water system, and all the comforts that could be afforded for his family. Codwell would go on to marry, have children, and live a life here in Chatham, Illinois. His legacy would live on not only through this house, but through the schools that he helped contribute funds to and the bank that he created in Chatham. Today, you can see remnants of his legacy as you drive through the town. Our next stop will showcase how people were able to travel to and from Chatham, but also arrive in style. The first train to come through Chatham was on September 9th of 1852. The line by then known as the Chicago and Mississippi Railroad followed the same path as the current Union Pacific Railroad between Springfield and St. Louis. The Chicago and Mississippi Railroad reorganized in 1858 as the Chicago, Alton, and St. Louis Railroad. Three years later, it became the Chicago Alton. The Chicago Alton Railroad became well known for its Alton Limited passenger train, which operated between Chicago and Kansas City. During the early 1920s, the Alton Limited had a car known as the Ladies' Tea Room. Men had a smoking car. The tea room was ornate in the Japanese style, and it includes service by Japanese women in the traditional dress. In the early 1900s, a 12-passenger train would be seen through Chatham daily. After 70 years of service, the station was closed with the merger of the Illinois Central and the Gulf, Mobile, and Ohio Railroads in 1972. Later in 1991, it was restored and turned into a museum. This began the long history of the Chatham Railroad displayed here at the Chatham Depot. Our last stop on our Sangamo road trip is the Sugar Creek Covered Bridge the last covered bridge built in Sangamon County. It spans Sugar Creek a few hundred yards south of where early settler 
Robert Pullum built a cabin during his first visit to the area in 1817. The 60-foot bridge was built in 1880. Although it has undergone several reconstructions since, it is also known as the Headley Bridge or the Glenarm Bridge. This bridge has seen history pass over the years and remains here as a tribute to the early settlers here in Sangamon County. It was placed on the Historic National Register in 1978 and was originally built by Thomas Black. There is a lot to discover in Chatham, Illinois. If you want to learn more, visit Sangamon Link online. They have a large collection of articles sharing stories of Sangamon County. You can also visit the Chatham Area Library District. They have a special local collection of photographs, manuscripts, and other primary source materials. Thank you for joining me today on the Sangamo Road Trip. Join me next time when I visit Auburn, Illinois, the garden city of Sangamon County.